That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I... I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arnif sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Easy. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. Some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah, should still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down on top of me. the forecaster on that. <laughs> Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that truck...
Maybe I can swim back. Them. Not if I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. <sighs> I need to find a way up to those explosives. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. That got its attention.
let's go check on those miners. So dead. We don't know that. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I tried to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. Thank you, Huntress. And it's never good. I'll see Sooner the last later, two make it out. Someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Save these for when I need it.
Sarah's not gonna help you. Okay, better. Always good to have extra.
Welcome, Elvan. I wrestled in that ball. Yes, I did. Don't pull that face. I were a sober man, I would salute you. happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. Your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again.
Might be a good idea to stock up on some food. Before I head back out. Oh, see what else Elder's cooking up. is rigged with trip wires. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these grounders! That's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the trip wires. Forge, you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but machine hunting's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper, like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. 
Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep, uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Keep some extra on hand. Trucks. Maybe errands and the vanguards. If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. His bristle backs are everywhere. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. No boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just a fight. Aloy? Errand! Stay 
stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Damn. I should be down. These crystal backs have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. I have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! God. Ah. <laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? Ah, uh, that figures. Oh, Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, 
And I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the old ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Errand! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're, you're needed elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. I can grab this for my stash later. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. 
Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Vardis' delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. There's the quarry Fearless mentioned. And it's full of bristlebacks. One less machine. Another one. 
Another one down. Incoming. Less machine. Another one down. There. Corey's safe. Drain, come on over here. We got to talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Bloodies, too. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. I'll stash this away for later. Time to get Ulven to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baramite. Shops for us or I'm only. Whoa! Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. 
Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Waris off to Baron Light. is my trade. On what you need to measure. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. See it as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. You look like salutation.
The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But... but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it. I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy back up. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Oh, that's okay. We can always play later. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest to here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. Never heard them talk about that before. 
Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. This hey, Tallinn guy might still be in chain scrape. Fancy a game of strike. I could have a word with him first. for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> Could you just not? I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom One-shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down, otherwise they break. But the real innovation, keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. I should have enough charger horns for Dylan Boomer you now. Just need a rib from that fang horn we were talking about.
That's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. get around faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Russell back by the falls. Gotta check it out. <laughs> hmm, this will make a good die. Dead machines. On a track. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. Taking a beating. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for chain scrape.
the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Sure. Bye. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far, thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. This will be in my stash when I need it.
Looks like I should head up. 